I'm George Leonard, and uh, I started doing Commander Video in New York City, I think it was 1977, the Commander Video show, which was kind of like a, a children's show for adults, you know, a very, very sort of, if you want to, to elaborate on it, it might be a very mild version of, of South Park, you might say, only without cartoon people. And everybody had some kind of a show going on. There were some wonderful shows. They were so, I, I think y you would think they were, they were wonderful because they were so bad. There was this guy, Tex Fenster, a fellow in his 80s. It was Tex Fenster's disco. And uh, he played records that his mother loved while showing pictures of his mother. And that was the whole show. Uh, then there was these assorted, this sort of pornography kind of things where they go into the the dance clubs, you know, where the girls danced around, you know, sort of naked, some were naked, whatever. There was that. Then there was Julio Anglis, uh, no, that's uh, Julio, some Julio guy. And uh, he was also old, probably in his 70s. And his thing was to sing in 17 different languages, which he did by putting on a record and then mouthing the, the language, sort of. <laughs> And he would sit to, he would sing to, the studio would have a whole row of chairs with all women maybe in 70s, 80s. You know, they're, they're sitting there like this, you know, with their legs spread apart. And, uh, and he'd be just being so charming and singing to them. And it was just one show after another, after another, after another, one worse than the next, but just, you just, you just, you, your eyes are just glued to it because it was so... You just couldn't believe it was happening. I suppose that's maybe the, those were the forerunners of the reality shows. <laughs> Where did you film most of your show? Did you do it in studio or? No, I did it in my apartment. Yeah, we did it all in the apartment. We built a had backdrop, a got some lights, and uh, had a camera. Uh, in the early days, the real, real cheap, uh, the, they weren't even cheap, they were expensive, but they would have this thing called ghosting and you move the camera a little bit and it would just follow like a ghost. That's the way everything was back then. So it was, uh, you know, to, to have a real television show, you know, that was a lot of money. Uh, anybody could do it, you know, just get the space, you know. Just like now, cable, you know. I found some people who were kind of fans of the show and they offered to edit it for me, which was nice. So you go in the studio, I'd give them a little bit of money, you know, because of course, you know, but it was, a, a, you know, pittance compared to what the, the studio was worth, you know. Larry Vanderveen was his name. That was a wonderful time because everybody was trying to do something in cable television. My guest is George Leonard, who stars on TV. He's got a million fans, apparently. He stars as Commander Video. Let me say welcome. Nice what is being here, What is the show basically, Commander? Uh, the show is basically a story about my travels throughout a space. You see, I'm basically a songwriter, and uh, I've gotten onto this terrific, fun kick of writing outer space love songs. When did you leave Earth, Commander? When did you become to be, uh, When did you decide to to be a, uh, a, a swashbuckler in space? Um, uh, Twenty years ago. Yeah. I don't know how to play it with him, Anita, because he. <laughs> the show is campy. I've been told it's got a tremendous uh, rating on cable TV. Now, how did this all begin? Seriously. Well, it began actually with the invention of the hat. The, uh, Commander video helmet. Let's see it. And uh, could I try it on? Sure. <laughs> no, oh, I, isn't that? No, I'm fantastic. afraid. I'll just hold it up. That's the hat that he wears on TV. It says they fly with Commander video. Oh. And he's getting a big, uh, big reception. Now, is this for children or grown-ups, Commander? I, you know, I'm really not sure. Uh -huh. I'm getting confused. I think we, from the cause of it, you see, we're on cable. We're on Manhattan Cable, which right. is Channel J, and. Um, there's no ratings or anything like how about, that. How about analyzing some movies for me? How about analyzing uh, Star Wars or uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind? You'd be my deputy oh. movie critic, okay? Close Command? Encounters, okay. Right. Um, well, I, uh, most people are impressed, but since I've been in outer space, I'm not impressed by something like the third kind. Right. Uh, see, the first kind is the uh, sighting, and the second is physical evidence, and the third is actually making contact with an alien. Well, 
I've many times done the fourth kind. Which is? Selling insurance to an alien. <laughs> <laughs> who's the galaxy gourmet on your show? What kind of dishes does she prepare? And who is the galaxy gourmet? The galaxy gourmet, that's played by Ashi Benson. She's, uh, she's a terrific person, a great, uh, great little actress. And she's got a terrible cook. She cooks things like uh, robot ravioli. Mm. Uh, and uh, comet omelets <laughs> and uh, all kinds of things. She actually published a book called Cooking for Your Computer. Uh, all I know is I got more requests to put uh, Commander Video on TV than we got for Bob Hope, so we must have a lot of watch. <laughs> <laughs> Commander Video is on every Thursday night on Manhattan Cable TV on Channel J. And uh, on every Thursday night. Your leading lady got cold feet. She wouldn't come on TV, right? That's Private Super 8. Hi, Private Super 8. Wait. Commander Video Show, the concept of that was to be a variety show that took place from out of space. Uh, and, and it was, it was a, kind of a loose idea. And now, Joel Siegel and the latest adventures of Commander Video and his cable vision crew. This is it, folks. TV behind the scenes. A story conference where next week's exciting episodes are planned and plotted. That's Harvey the manager in the kitchen. And in the studio, which is also the living room, the Space Chicks, the Galaxy Gourmet, and the fellow in the funny hat, none other than Commander Video. <laughs> hooray, hooray, do the cha-cha-cha, ha-ha, ho-ho, Commander Video. Hi, boys and girls. Commander Video here from outer space. Spaceman Shuffle, so easy to do. I like to do the Spaceman Shuffle with you. Commander Video, Thursday nights at 11.30 on Manhattan Cable's Channel J. And yes, folks, it's a hit. The Commander wants a band leader, Georgie Porgy and his crybabies, and a songwriter wants to be a TV star. How to break into television? Do it yourself, TV on the cable. And Commander Video is on his way to becoming cable TV's first star. Do you get recognized on the street? Um, only in my outfit. <laughs> and then I, it's questionable what I'm recognized as. <laughs> The commander's camera cost him $2,000, lights a few hundred. The studio is his living room. He pays Manhattan Cable TV $25 to run his weekly half-hour show. It cost him another $75 to edit the videotape. The young women, professional singers and actresses, donate their time because they believe in commander video. And, well, who doesn't? And now, the continuing adventures of commander video, Spaceman. The Dr. Diddle Doodle Dooper. Well, unfortunately for you, Dr. Diddle, I happen to have the Dr. Diddle Doodle Dooper Deflector. Oh, no. That's right. The commander here, star of his own television show, is now available for rental at your very own party. Do you have any uh, Commander Video words of advice for the folks at home? In regard to what? <laughs> uh, you mean some heavenly news? Sure. Uh, yeah, just uh, hang in there. <laughs> She's getting smaller and smaller, getting harder to call her. Incredible shrinking lady, I wish I could aid thee. You can catch Commander Video Thursday nights on Channel J on Manhattan Cable, which covers the east side of Manhattan. It's good inventive television and a little secret for you Commander Video fans. Because the camera never shows his feet, Commander Video never wears shoes. Roger. When your news is good news, I'm Roger Grimsby. After that piece one is tempted to say, we'll pass the buck, Rogers. The ABC Evening News with Harry Reisner and Barbara Walters is next. I'm Bill Butel. Thank you very much and good luck. Hi, boys and girls. Command a video here from outer space. I see everybody made it through another difficult day on Earth. So, stand by to recompose molecular brain matter with Command a video. <laughs> oh, uh, wait. 
Uh, don't don't bang on the ceiling like that. I'm I'm command of video. I was just on the ABC News. Oh, that's different. I'll see you in the laundry room. Well, speaking of ABC News, how acute to note Commander doesn't wear shoes. And the first to notice was Joe Siegel, who has eyes like an eagle. Thank you, Joel, Rich Hall, and crew. Here in space, we all love you. Hey, okay, we got a great show, and we'll be back right after this little message. We, we were writing two or three uh, space songs a week. Uh, Amazon Woman, Incredible shrink Shrinking Lady, uh, Invisible Lady, Four Arms to Hold Me, A Menage a Trois for Two, Computer Masseuse, and silly stuff. It gave me a chance to write songs, which is what I like to do, you know, so I had a place to put them. So easy to do. I like to do the space match shuffle with you. I like to do the space match shuffle with you. Space man. Shuffle. Continuing adventures of Commander Video, Spaceman. My tears are falling, cheeks are turning to rust I gotta get on that beat or bus oh, Well, a token, token and a beep, beep, beep Token and a beep, beep, beep Mr. Spaceman, get your act together What do you think I'm trying to do? Mr. Spaceman, get your act together Gonna put it in a bag, gonna give it to you Put it in a bag, gonna give it to you I left my lungs on the planet of smoke A toke toke and a choke 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 I'm burned out, gotta move real quick Gotta hop on my pogo stick Hop hop and a boing 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 Hop hop and a boing 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 Mr. Spaceman, get your act together What do you think I'm 
trying to do Mr. Spaceman, get your act together Gonna put it in the back, gonna give it to you Put it in the back, gonna give it to you My pots are floating all over the place I got the feeling that I'm lost in space I think I spread myself a little too thin Take it from the top, start all over again Ooh, ooh, and a choo-choo-choo Beep, beep, and a point, point, point Mr. Spaceman, get your act together What do you think I'm trying to do? Mr. Spaceman, get your act together I'm gonna put it in a bag, gonna give it to you What do you think I'm trying to do? Mr. Spaceman, get your act together. Gonna put it in a bag, gonna give it to you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. Ta-da! Oh, I don't know if you recognize me or not, but... I'm the same old command of video from last week. Remember, only I got a new outfit. Look at this outfit. I don't know if you can really appreciate it just standing here. I mean, it strikes some poses. Who? Hey. <laughs> After 20 years in outer space, I figured I was due up for another outfit. So here it is. Invisible lady. Da, 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 da. Incredible. Aren't those space chicks great? They took special shots so that they could get all invisible like that. And I'm looking over the woo. They're getting changed now. They have no clothes on. Uh, why don't you come out and take a bow? Kathleen and Susan. Take a bow, Kathleen, Susan. Whoop. Whoo. Whoo. Some fresh little space chicks, let me tell you. The invisible lady. Standing by the door Invisible lady I'd like to see some more Show me 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 more Invisible lady You know I like it best When you're hanging around in the spaceship Completely dressed The things you've done Invisible lady Why don't you put it on 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 Invisible lady I always turn pale When I'm looking at your picture In my book of bread Nothing is better than nothing Invisible lady standing by the door Invisible lady, I'd like to see some more Prepare my intergalactic police disguise. I smell tin foil. Someone must be at the space door. Who is it? 
If the police push the door, our doors are always open to law and justice. Push the door. Mr. Police Commander. Good to see you, officer. My compliments on your new uniforms. Why, thank you. Commander, I understand you have some little yellow pills. Do you have a prescription for these pills? No, I don't, officer. Aha. Uh -huh. In that case, hand them over. You're under arrest. Hold it. You're not an officer of the law. First of all, you don't have any coffee cup calluses on your hand. And second, you've been here for half a minute, and I haven't seen you do this once. Very clever, Commander. I was going to try to get these pills without the use of violence, but you forced me to use this. <laughs> Dr. Diddle Doodle Dooper. The Dr. Diddle Doodle Dooper. The Dr. Diddle Doodle Dooper. Will Commander Video get out of this? Will he deliver the little yellow pills to the Medavians? Stay tuned for the continuing adventures of Command the Video, Spaceman. And now the Outer Space News with Miss Ashi Benson. Good evening. Officials on Jupiter can understand why no one will allow the Concorde to land. They say, what's wrong with good Jewish comics? And now a bright spot on the news. The planet of Alpha Century has announced the grand opening of Bloomingdale's. Bill Blastoff himself will be there to cut the ribbon on opening day. Intergalactic Travel is offering a Christmas hotspot. 28 days and no nights on the sun. Don't forget your asbestos swimsuit. The weather on Neptune has reported a low for today of 307 below zero. The high for today was 307 below zero. Now for a human interest story. News of the first intergalactic intermarriage has swept the media. Well, that's Ashi Benson saying good night for the news. As you know, each week I open the show by hopping on a pogo stick down the planet of uh, Fifth Avia. Well, a lot of people ask me, is that really you, Commander, or do you use a stuntman? Well, boys and girls, the Commander does his own stunts, which is why I brought on my pogo stick here, and I'm going to prove to you that the Commander can ride a pogo stick without a stuntman. Are we ready? Oh, here goes. When she 
was normal size I used to love to squeeze her Now the best I can do Is rescue her with a tweezer Take that, you fascist ants She's getting smaller and smaller It's getting harder to call her Incredible shrinking lady I wish I could a be. Oh, I love to hear what's left of a little voice of hope Waving like a lovesick fool in my microscope Getting smaller and smaller It's harder to call her I'm trying not to cry as I watch her disappear I just couldn't bear the thought of her drowning in my tears She's getting smaller and smaller Getting harder to call her Incredible shrinking lady I wish I could aid thee Ah, uh, what's the use? She's probably making it right now with some macho molecule Oh well Say hello to H2O upon a time and space there lived a little girl who had a dream that she would dance and twirl from world to world I met her on the moon one night during her eternal flight I asked her if she'd like a lift she said her feet were lightning swift ballerina borealis dance Ballerina Borealis dance Lovely ballerina Dancing with the light I followed her from Pluto To Neptune in one night I asked her for her heart As she took another leap She said her heart was mine but her feet she had to keep Ballerina Borealis dance Ballerina Borealis Flying out of space, Commander Video. Who can take a young mind, put it to waste, Commander Video. Hooray, hooray, do the cha cha cha, ha ha, ho ho, Commander Video. 